Okay, good morning guys. We're just around the back of Man Mango Square. Actually, I didn't know there's an arms corps branch here. Arms Corps, uh, a Filipino firearms manufacturer. So if you're interested, keep watching. If not, go watch one of the other videos. This is gonna be a firearm video. Okay. Arms Corps are both a manufacturer as well as a gun club. Okay, they, they're also one of the largest exporters of the 1911 uh, series or pattern of uh, pistol. Okay, so this, this one I mean the 1911. Uh, and what's so interesting is that the 1911 is hand fit. You have to file it and sand it, so it's hand fit by nature. So they've got the, the labor here, they've got the cheap labor, so they often make very, <coughs> excuse me, very nice 1911s. So we'll go in and take a look. Okay guys, quick shot inside. Just like uh, most professional places, this is a retail store, so you can buy all your accessories. All right. They brought that out just to show me. It's actually an Arms Corps 22. It's very similar to the Ruger 22. Okay, and it's just got a different chassis, a Fab Defense chassis. Sorry, I'm gonna turn that around. Can you hold that? Thanks, man. So, once you've got the guts, you can just put whatever furniture you want, whether you want a wooden one or this tactical style one, adjustable butt stock, um, extended magazines or not. But it's a very simple action, just a blowback 22. They're great for plinking and tiger practice. Uh, and you can even use them for hunting, like hunting rabbits and that, or small birds if you really want to. But yeah, they just brought that out to show me. Thanks, Mark. As you can see, all your ammo and accessories. Okay. And they also have some display guns. So this is what they're famous for, the 1911. Very nice, look at this one. It's got the fiber optic front side, the front and back serrations. Uh, it's even got some texturing on the back. Very nice. And what's this? 36,000 36, 36, pesos, yeah. Okay. About $600. Yeah. Like it's even got those very nice features, even the sights, the, the uh, commander hammer. These are all very nice features, but um, usually you'd, they would be much more expensive in the West. No, and they got the shotguns. What's this? Oh yeah, 22 long rifle. Cool. So, so that'd probably be just some basic blowback. Yeah. See, it's just a basic blowback action. Okay. Meaning the recoil blows back and then goes back in the battery. Then you get pump guns. Okay, cool. You got revolvers. You see a lot of security guards with 38 revolvers from arm school. Oh wow, that one's affordable. 24,000 pesos. That's like a commander style one, yeah, it's more compact anyway. 25 for 1911. Yeah, look at this one. 24,000. Yeah. But it's, it's got a shorter barrel, but it's nice. Very nice. Oh, sorry, and these are the 9mm series. Um, it's basically like a CZ75. Uh, it's a copy of Tang Folio. Forgive my pronounce, it's like Tang Folio, or I can never say it right. But um, it's basically like uh, yeah, CZ75. Very nice. I like them in 9mm. Very uh, low recoil. Very manageable because it has a low bore axis. Yeah. I mean, the barrel's so low when you get a high grip, it just recoils nicely, just pushes a little bit back. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's go through to the back. So, this is actually the firing range, indoor firing range. Okay. The, the official rate is 2,500 pesos, 2,500, and you get 50 rounds. And you choose like, you know, for a 9mm or a 45. Uh, they also have 12 gauge shotguns, and I believe 12 gauge is 25 rounds. Is that 25 what rounds. 25 rounds, and it's birdshot. What's nice is he was also showing us uh, the ammo. It's brand new factory ammo, sorry. Here we go. So, at some shooting ranges, they use cheap reloads. They're actually using brand new factory ammo, copper jackets. It just tends to shoot a lot nicer and more consistently, and uh, a bit cleaner as well, not as dirty. And is, as you can see, very nice new birdshot. And guys, it's, it's an old thing, high brass, low brass. Usually low brass meant lower power and high brass meant higher power, but it doesn't mean anything these days. Some people make a big deal about it. Meaning this is bird shot, it's this weak, it's for, usually we'd use it for target practice or shooting birds, but it's still high brass. Anyway, the point is it's good quality. Uh, okay, and then you got your targets and whatever. So 2,500 pesos covers the safety equipment, the ammo, the gun, and you can see the targets. Okay, and there's the range. Okay, that's about it, guys. Okay, they're very nice, they let me onto the range. There's no firing, okay? There's no firing, there's no one else, there's no firearms or ammunition, okay? It's very safe. Sorry? 50 meters. 50, 50 meters, okay, cool. That's nice, that's a nice range. See the base, 
the reason why I like it, it's a professional facility, so you can learn a lot more and it's obviously a lot safer. Yeah. Some ranges, like, they don't even supervise, yeah, you know, or, or it's not clean, yeah. I went through this. So, Joel was telling me um, you, you have club membership? Yes. So, how much? It's only 2500 a year, valid, okay. valid nationwide. Yes, yeah, so it's national. Yes. So, like me, if you're in Cebu or Manila or whatever, it doesn't yeah. matter, you can use it. You can okay. have the same privilege in a uh, okay. store. So. And what you're doing right now is it's actually flexible. Yes. You, uh, for the fee, it's actually flexible. You can have different pistols uh, and you can mix the, the uh, calibers. Yep. The so, package that you're getting, yeah. which includes 50 rounds, mm -hmm. uh, we're very much flexible. You can mix it with uh, another caliber. Yeah. Say you'll so, divide so, it into. So for guys who don't understand, that means you can try different, you can try different models, different calibers, but that way you can get a better feel. Yes. So instead of just going one 1911, you can try the whole series and decide which right. one you like, or uh, even even discover for yourself. So I was the same. We we're just discussing. I like the 1911-45. I still do, but I notice I perform better with nine mil. So that's probably what I should be focusing on. It's not that either one is better. It's that whatever suits you. You know. Each, each shooter is different, each body shape is different, so, yeah. Because our point is, we would like to let people try our products. Mm, mm, exactly. Because so why not? We have the best value for money products. Yeah, yes. absolutely. <laughs> and I totally agree. So yeah, why not let them see? Because yeah. they walk in wanting a 1911-45, but then they end up going, hey, wait a minute, there's other yes. options. Yeah, right. cool. All right, guys, um, so we're going to get ourselves sorted, and I'm going to organize the shoot. Okay guys, just to cover it, the, the four main rules, there's different schools of thought, but it's the same thing. Treat all guns as if they are loaded. Never muzzle anyone, or you know, never point at anything you don't intend to shoot. Keep your fingers straight and off the trigger, that's trigger discipline, or indexing, I'll show you guys that. And be absolutely sure of your target, and what is behind it. Bullets shoot through things. Now, it's important that we cover this guys, and they, it's constantly reminded. It's, it's displayed everywhere, and they're constantly pushing it, which is a good thing. Uh, I've been to ranges where they just let you run wild and people are muzzling each other but like pointing the guns at each other. Okay, so no, none of that, none of that. They're very professional. Okay, so here's the lineup. Uh, it's a really good selection. We got, it's a map polymer frame. So it's a bit lighter, so just see the difference. We got the, the full metal frame. Is it steel or alloy? It's steel. Alloy. Uh, alloy, but anyway, it's nice when you got the metal frame. It's a bit more forgiving, a bit more solid. Absorbs the recoil well and stable. Uh, we have, a, is this the 9mm? 9mm. So 9mm uh, 1911, full size. full size, I'm very interested to try it, I think it'll be very stable, very yeah. smooth, yeah. And then we have the actual full size 45 caliber. Okay, there's the lineup, and we're shooting at about 5.5 meters, so we'll give it a try. Guys, uh, just doing some dry fire practice, I'll show you guys in just a moment. Uh, it's always recommended, but the manager was telling me that there are these rubber bullet traps here, right, rubber sheets. Then they've got steel and concrete, uh, reinforced steel and concrete behind, so that way it reduces any splash or any ricochets. These are also bulletproof. These are ballistically rated, so that is very nice to have. That is a that is a luxury. Not many ranges have an actual bulletproof uh, bay. Yeah, so very safe. Uh, whoever wants to, I'll let... guys. I'm just going to demonstrate. I'm not an expert. But You're just a sex expert, man. But drive-by <laughs> practice is always recommended because one, you save ammo. But two, you're building the muscle memory and just getting a feel for everything, the trigger, how to hold it, whatever. So I'll give you, give you guys an example. That's why it's great to film or have a friend with you. They can see if you're flinching, or they can see if you're pushing which way. That way you can learn a little more. So just to give you an example. Okay, it's empty. Magazine's empty. There's nothing in the chamber, okay? So I'm just gonna drive by just to get a feel. I'll give you an example. So it's clearly empty. I'm not doing that to look cool. Later on I can re review it and the guys are really nice to explain to me if I was flinching or not. So I can see where I need to improve. And look at my trigger discipline. Always finger off the trigger, even though it's not even loaded, but always treat it like it's loaded. So we'll try again one more time. Did I flinch? Uh, Maybe a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, yeah, that's okay. So that's, a, that's the whole point I want to learn. This is the 9mm 1911, it's the same thing. The point is not to go fast guys, you're just going slow just to get a feel for everything. Ooh, very nice trigger, very nice trigger. So, 
even just things like that, getting used to the trigger, getting used to the way it feels, uh, getting used to the weight. Okay, so we're gonna load up and we're gonna start shooting. So basically, you do this as long as you like. There's no time limit. Take your time, do it as long as you like. So by the time you load it, you're not wasting your bullets. You're actually making each one count and probably, well, hopefully, you're learning a little more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so in different places to use more of the target and that way I know which, which group came from which gun. No, no, that was the 9mm, uh, 1911. That was very nice. And this is the polymer. So I don't know if it was the gun or me, I was actually aiming here for the 45. Oh, so really? I was really shooting low left, so I, I actually think that's way too much. The 9mm was excellent, see how tight that group is, yeah. but that was very smooth. Um, and obviously I was a bit loose. A bit looser with the map, but they were both nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that 1911 shooting to the right. 
I mean to the left, sorry. The 45? Yeah, because I was aiming way up here. I was aiming on that corner, so it was dropping. If it was me pushing it too hard, or I don't know, so. Yeah, that's, I think the sights are off. Not, not that I'm making excuses, I think it's just too much of a, a deviation. So, anyway, okay, I'll try. Um, no, 9mm, 9mm again. That is sweet. That is sweet, sweet, sweet. So guys, after that little review, that's what's so great. These guys are very professional. You know, we're learning a lot more. He just informed us as well, and you can feel it. This is such a well ventilated range. We didn't have any gun smoke. We didn't have any burning lead. We didn't have any gun residue blowing in our face. Plenty of ventilation coming in and going out. Uh, basically, like what we were saying before, as much as I love the 45, I tend to be doing better with 9mm, so I'm going to try and focus on that now. So, we've got the 1911 9mm, and I'll probably try the, the map 1 as well in volume of frame. Okay, so shooting? Oh, yeah. No, it's all good. Safety first, yeah. Safety first. Just making sure everyone's got eyes and ears. Yep. Eyes and ears, okay. No magazine. The nature of this design. Okay, I'm going to drive for it so you know it's empty. Okay. See that beaver tail? You can really get a high grip. And the grip angle is excellent. So John Browning knew his stuff when he made this thing in 1911, yeah. 100 years ago. Yeah. You can really get a nice solid grip. And um, you don't have to, but even though safety, you can ride it. I was putting my thumb up there to, to ride and push it down. You don't have to, but it's just nice. And then with that spare portion, that's bare portion, I just put my hand, you get a high grip. But it's like, it's basically a very nice design by nature. So it's very solid. So even though it's over 100 years old, it's still very relevant. Very high grip. So I want this slow Alright, and we're gonna. Oh, MAPP. Okay, so I'm gonna try and redeem myself <laughs> and try to get some more performance out of this bad boy. Okay, I'm ready. Last nine rounds, I'll finish up on the 
I really rushed it. Well, you have two shots here. Yeah, <laughs> that was a very nice group. Yeah, very nice group. <laughs> the 1911. But um, yeah, I pulled those shots. Yeah. I was rushing it, and I just I tried to slow down as much as much as possible and got that very nice group there. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Parting shots. Okay, it's empty, guys. We're not shooting it. Just inspecting this uh, arm school shotgun. Very nice. Very very nice. It's a pump action. It's seven plus one. Seven plus one. Excellent. And it's even got the heat shield on top. Just nice little features like that. Good furniture. Good grip. It's simple but effective. Yeah. And um, sorry. We'll just pump it forward just to show you guys. See how it's even got a. Uh, I don't know how you say it, like, almost like a, a diamond bolt. It just reduces friction, it's just nice. I mean like they're machine marks, but it reduces the, the friction, yeah. And it holds holds lubricant well as well. Anyway, yeah, it's just nice, just nice little, nice little things, nice little touches. And it's very popular for export, they were telling me, so. Anyway, sorry, we'll get you all done. So, there's, yeah, there's the release. Yeah, cool. Hey. So, The dry fire. <laughs> yeah. Nice trigger too. Mm. That's very nice. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay guys, and final shooting tip. Make sure you wash your hands thoroughly with soap. Hands and face with soap, okay? To wash off all that gun residue and lead. Okay? Otherwise, later on, you may go eat something and you end up eating lead. It's actually common. People go to the shooting range, they don't clean up, they eat something later, and they end up with lead poisoning. Long term, it's going to be a problem. Okay, so just make sure you wash up after range day. Okay, thanks for watching.